how important is your swag to what you wear to the game, to what, how you wear your uniform on the field? Man, like, I feel like you gotta have it on, like, all the time. Got you, like, got all the you. time, before the game, after the game, during the game. Yes, like, sir. It's, it, 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 like, it, just, it just in you. It just in you. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. you, my G. Sure. Yes, sir. Walking around in circles. We going back out. My guy said it rains and it's raining in Vegas and never rains in Vegas, right? Going to meet up with, with Brock at the Pepper Mill. Gotcha, my boy. I got you, man. But the food was good, man. The food was good, right? Pepper Mill. I do this shit every time I come to Vegas. We come to Pepper Mill. Might come here again. The food was good. Uh, I got French toast, scrambled eggs, and uh, damn, what do, how do I say what else I got without being a pause moment? I don't know. That's on you, bro. Some poultry. And that's my brand. Uh, oh, so we're doing, we're doing a brand uh, empowering the youth. Uh, just showing them, hey, all you got to do is put, put your boots to the ground, make it happen. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people have ideas, and we're just, you know, in the process of putting an idea and making it happen. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma Brock. Brock. Uh, well, my name is Michael Brockers, but my nickname is Brock, so that's what we do. That's kind of My cousin plays with a uh, golf oh. Braxton Barrios. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was about to say something, but Pat, you were so quick to say I, something. Oh. <laughs> hey, you were so quick. I was like, yeah, I'm going to just leave that alone. Shit, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> I called her. Hey. 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 Hey, ask yo's um, about the tickets for the events for uh, the events for uh, the damn Super Bowl. Like all the little pre pre events, the pre show events, whatever. You about to go grab your stuff yeah. real quick? You need. I'm gonna go out there too. All right. We Uh, 
probably looking at the back of your head. So our crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, remoulade sauce, Tony's seafood shipped us all of the shrimp and all our catfish for tomorrow and Thursday. Look at y'all, man. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay. Take a goosey for the rim. I'm going to my table, but. It's the sauce. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna be in New Orleans next year? I am. Yeah, fair. Awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. East, you know, if you would have said Bama, no, Ole no, Miss, no, no, Mississippi no, State, no. I would have been like, I have to walk away. But you're you, on the east of the SEC, and you're still part of the SEC, so you know it's many, all love. You know how many fun times I've had at SEC championships games? Come on. When Georgia and LSU, and LSU play each other? Yeah. It is the biggest party. They show y'all show up on Tuesday. Yeah. The games on Saturday. And we tailgate all around. Oh yeah, Maria. that's the best. That's the best tailgating you ever get. It's LSU the best tailgates. Fans. It's the best fans. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. What's your yeah. name, bro? Greece. Greece. Nice to meet you, Greece. Yes, sir. I'm gonna try a little bit of syrup and uh, get out to our house. The sauce was gonna get you. You need the cocktail sauce, man. Come on, you gotta drown it in the cocktail sauce. So. Or I'm. Mm. Like Tastes like home, doesn't mm. it? It's the sauce. Mm. I appreciate y'all, guys. Hey, one. So hey, one. Every day. Every day? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow's catfish. We I'll be back tomorrow. Yo. <laughs> All right, what is your name? Michael Brock. Okay, which one? Whoa, 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 whoa. You just said count down. Huh? How the game goes? I know it's down <laughs> through the big hole. No, hole. What, wherever you want to go with it. Okay. Yep. Which one do you want? Oh, what, what, what y'all think I should start with? Uh, football, paper towel. Paper towel. Paper towel. Ah, first one. Right in there. Three hundred. Ah. ah. One more. I got one more. Yeah. Oh. Three hundred again. I did it. You did it. We're number one. <laughs> Looking for our table. Oh, look, they got five flat screens turned sideways. Chiefs. Well, everybody's here. setting up, trying to figure out how we want to set up. We wanted to put our backdrop at and things like that. And my team said, we won't know until we get it. So this is our trip to the hotel to go get the equipment and come back and set it up to see how we look. So y'all stay tuned, please. What was that about, bro? Man, it was, it was a guy who was looking for a job and he was hustling, passing out his resume. He said he traveled to different states where they had NBA playoff game or NBA All-Star game, you know, the Pro Bowl is here. And he's passing out his resume, telling people that he, he's willing to work. I think that's so um, inspiring, bro, because, you know, it's a lot of people out here that just, oh, I need a job, and just, you know, they, they sitting on their ass. But this guy is actually traveling, spending money to go to places to put his name out there. I think that's... That's super inspirational, so I had to take the time to just hear him out. Even though we're not a big media company or anything, hearing a guy out like that, I think it means a lot to him. So we took the time. We're generous.
work though. Like we getting making sure our work, you know, is good. But it's still an adventure. You being responsible. Yeah. Hey, we caught a shuttle. Hey, we, we caught a shuttle to walk. Yeah, we caught a shuttle we caught, just we to walk. We caught a shuttle to walk. This is the it's first. 25 first, minutes, bro. This is the first we have ever had to walk ever to get to the Super Bowl. Uh, yes, sir, man. Hell of a season, dog. Hell of a season. Hey, my boy Seth say, it's a little uh, remnants of you here, so feel good about the Seth. I say, yeah, I feel great. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Put a camera in. Quarter, fourth quarter, game with a drive, first quarter of the game. I uh, feel like there's something better we can do. Uh, you know, uh, not worried about uh, changing stuff. Come on, you got to get Christian. The culture of both of these teams. Both of these teams have winning cultures, and the coaches behind them. Could you talk about why it's important for the players, or why the players like the culture? I can't really speak so far for the 49ers, but yeah. as you said, it's a winning culture. Um, Shanahan family has been winners all their life. Right, 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 right. This is Andy Reid. Um, um, he's a player's coach. Mm -hmm. You know, and his staff he bring in, they're player coaches also. Right, right, right. For sure, for sure, but for sure. look at a guy like Steve Spagnuolo and the success he had over his career. And, uh, right. I think it, made it, easy, it, it makes it easier for guys to buy into mm -hmm. whatever they're coaching or their beliefs and their system and schematics. Yes, sir. I appreciate that, Mark. Thank you. When you guys went to Africa, Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Y'all to the next one. I'm so proud of you. And uh, they kind of played it throughout the, uh, the the game that day specifically. What trip you got planned for the Super Bowl? I can't, you know, I can't tell anybody about the trip. It's going to be a surprise. I'm, I'm going to have something on for you, baby. You know what I'm going to do? be fresh for you. Making our rounds.
I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Sorry. Big 9 no. Yeah. representing for the 9 yeah. So, my dog, what are you planning to wear for the, for, the, for, the, for the Super Bowl? Are you still planning? Unfortunately, I know you're over there. What are, you, are you still planning to get, get, get dressed up? Ooh. Hey, I tried to ask Trav, but he was like, no, nah, I can't tell you. So, I'm guessing some big sponsor or something like that. Could you give us, like, a peek? Is it some Louis? Is it some? Because you didn't did it all, bro. You didn't did it all, bro. You win for me. For me, hey, hey you win for me. Big Drip King. It's, gonna, it's definitely going to stretch what big boys do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that it's going to be it's gonna be different, something that you have not seen me do. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited. I look forward to it, my dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going through my routine, I play like some R and B. Can you tell us something that you didn't, that AD didn't taught you, like something you even took from his game that you implemented in yours? Mm. Honestly, I think what it is is even even when you're tired, even when you're even when you're like you're tired, you're exhausted, to push yourself even more. Like, and we'll do a whole rack, like a whole rack of dumbbells, biceps, triceps, and I'll be like, "Are oh, we done? Right? Yeah, 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 I'm, right. I'm hurting." Like, I'll, he'll be like. Nah, now nah, we got push-ups. So I'm like, what? Right, like, right, right. What? We got push-ups. Hey, you know, them, them, like, you're right. like, them, them optional, like, right? Yeah, but I'm like, them optional, yeah. Like, but, like, that's taught me, like, in a way to, you know, like, even when you're tired, even when you're tired, even when you're on that point, you can always push, push yourself to that next level. And that's how you, that's how you become great, you know? What's, what's the one thing you want to promote uh, on this platform? I just want to, I just want to thank God, my Lord and Savior, for real. Yes, sir. Yes, I, sir. I, yes, sir. I wouldn't, you know, I'm a six-round pick. You know, you know my story, no, bro. Late yes. round pick. Um, I want to be here without him, man. I want to be here without him. Let's be with people like you, yes, sir. people like yes, AD, sir. people like Henny, to help me get, get to where I was, you know, to get, get, you know, get paid, you know, to be a two-time captain. And it's like, it's Come funny because I was like, I learned that all from this guy, <laughs> yeah. This guy, AD, and I'm just, I'm thankful. 
Thank you, man. Thank man, you for sure, I appreciate man. that, bro. I appreciate you taking the time out there. Always, sir. Always, always good catching up. Stay here. Yes, sir. Stay here. I'm posting your stuff on uh, on Twitter. You're my hero, bro. Okay, okay. Uh, you, both of you play. Both of you played one game. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what's crazy? Uh, Lakers and Lakers. Oh, Lakers. Oh, okay. The difference. Oh, okay. To a regular fan, the difference yeah. between Staley's team. The difference to a regular fan. The difference between Staley's team. Fishers and Wilkes' scheme. I feel like a, a attack defense, especially in the one gap defense, you're attacking a man, you're attacking the edge of a man. If you're in the two gap defense, you're you're head up with a guy, and you got both gaps, you're controlling both gaps. It's more. Yeah. Close this way. Right. Go that way. It's right. more, I, I feel like it's more footwork. Yes. It's yes, more. I, I feel like it's gap gap and a half, like the two gap. You're saying it's more footwork, hand placement, and eyes, and eyes, and the one gap is more so. You're you're dictating your terms and you're just going. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you got to control that guy. So when you would push those guys back, the one I sent you that you laughed at was that uh, that marmot that pushed the guy back. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that. But you would get okay. under guys yes, and yeah, twist yeah, yeah, them yeah, back. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. So yeah. so you put your, your like Coach uh, Waffle would say you'd get them like on that apex machine. Right. What, what are you trying to do? Just get them so they just cannot have any orientation. Low man wins, man. Low man wins in your leverage. I had long arms, so I I could go against a, a shorter guy, you know, center or anything like that would be shorter, and use my length to get off blocks because they wouldn't be able to reach me. And you got pretty. Yeah, I did four years. I've been in the league. Now. They show more than the players sometimes. In the rematch, does that change the magnitude of this game? Is it bigger than the last game? Because it is a rematch, talk to us. How important is your swag to what you wear to the game to what, how you wear your uniform on the field? Man, like, I, like, you gotta have it on like all the time. Got you. Like, Got all the you. time. Before the game, after the game, during the game. Yes, like, sir. It's, it, it's, just, like, it's, just, it's just in you. It's just in you. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate you, my G. Sure. Yes, sir. Um, it's been good. We're kind of off the beaten path where we're staying, so it's kind of nice to be secluded. Um, but uh, I'm glad I'm not on the strip. For the rest of the month. So in Blacksburg, we got some sexually housing mm. that would stay in people's names. So you put a freshman on the lease, and then it just keeps. Assistant D-line coaches are going out, getting the bag set up for the coach. They doing all this, and you kind of get shit on because you're the assistant coach. Like, how how does it feel to get to this point in your, your career where you're at a Super Bowl? Is it is it does everything feel like worth it that you went through? Like all the the shit the guys give you on you know on practice field, practice days. Does it feel worth it getting to this point? Well, that's, that's a that's a loaded question on that one. <laughs> So, I was fortunate to get the San Fran because tons of coaches on this staff were coaches that I had played for in my career. Right. I've been okay. playing 12 years. Yeah. So, Kyle and his dad, I played for the Redskins. Okay. okay. Chris Castorik, the head D-line coach, I played for him in Detroit. Okay. Okay. Uh, Detroit, the, Detroit. The Vico Ryans was the coordinator last year. Uh -huh. Me and him were together in the Senior Bowl and in the War Series coming out of college. Okay. okay. Uh, so, it wasn't like I was just a hand there. Those right, guys right, right. understood I knew the game and knew mm -hmm. how to interact with guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, you do have to go through some stuff to help right, out. Right, right. But being an assistant coach, or being a D-line coach, or whatever, it's all about service. You have to yeah, make yeah, yourself yeah. little for the common good. Facts, facts, and that's facts. not to diminish yourself or right. trying to get a comedy, but 
you're trying to get everybody on the same page. So mm -hmm. ego and that stuff taken out, and he's trying to get the best out of each of the guys every day. So I just really enjoy the process. Everything that I've been across, from a player to now a coach, has led to this moment. So this stage is unreal to be a part of for 12 years. The first I got in the second round. Facts, facts. I know, last, hey. The last three years I had a run to the NFC Championship. We finally out of hurdle this year. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to capitalize. So I'm thankful. You know, I'm grateful that I even got to that point. You know, got to Super Bowl. I lost, you know, to the GOAT. But, you know, I mean, I'm thankful that I got to that point because there's so many guys that never yep. got to that game. They tried their hardest. Like no you said, 12 doubt. years and you no never doubt. reached that game. You just like sitting there looking like, damn, I wonder what it feels like. <laughs> One day. <laughs> um, tell me about, you know, talk about the future a little bit. Boss, I know you assistant D-line coach right now. Are you looking forward to, you know, possibly getting your own room in the future? No doubt. That's always the goal. Honestly, as a player, you know, yeah. you're always thinking about your next three, four moves. Right, right, right. Stuff right, goes right. sideways, you'll be gone tomorrow. Yeah. As a coach, yeah. you know, for that year, yeah. you're going to be there. So, yeah. me, I'm just focused on being the best D-line coach I can be yes, for this sir. year. And then whatever happens after that, happens after that. Yes, sir. Be yes, in the sir. moment right now. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. So, I coach you football, right? Yeah. So, could you give the kids out there some type of uh, words of advice to D-linemen because the big boys don't get a lot of love. You only see skilled players, quarterbacks, receivers, DBs, and stuff like this. Mm. Could you give some kids out there some type of words of affirmation, some some tips, or some drills, or something that they could be working on to hopefully get their get themselves at this point in their career? Probably the biggest thing I'll say to those guys is your journey is for you. Mm. Don't worry about everybody else's stuff or seeing on Instagram. You have to consistently set your mind on what you're trying to accomplish, and you have to work at it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's not a position or uh, a size skill set that gets a lot of praise, but as long as you set your mind on what your goal is and what you're trying to accomplish, your walk is for you. So let's not get that part confused. Yep, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem.